Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Real Talk Bougie. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is actually being recorded in a member only live. And we are going to get into Sonia's live, the most recent one. We still hadn't gotten to the one from almost two weeks ago now. Um, and we'll get to it eventually. But today we're going to talk about the most recent live. We reacted to the live, well, the video put up from phone calls from prison two nights ago on New Year's Eve and basically went into some detail about Nesto wanting to start his GoFundMe about, um, you know, his friend Daryl not coming through and just a, a few, like we, we reacted to that yesterday. So go back to the playlist. It will be the very last live that I did, but in any case, Sonia went live on New Year's Eve after phone calls from prison put their video up and Sonia felt like she needed to come and do some explaining. So to me, this is kind of an important live because not to Sonia doesn't come live very often and clearly something in this live bothered her to make her want to go live and start explaining. So let's go ahead and listen in and see what actually, like, why is ma'am so bothered? Okay. Um, I'll probably, I'm not going to run the comment section because I don't know. I don't even know if it's on here. We'll see. Let's get into it. Um, okay. All right, so this is the live right here. We'll go ahead and click into that. And I think as of last night, when we looked at the GoFundMe, I think it had $50. <laughs> so her GoFundMe is not doing well. It's been up for a couple of weeks. And we know <sighs> GoFundMe cool. can blow up. Now, I don't know that anyone is going to find Ernesto a we only know in 15 minutes. someone that they want to contribute into okay so she starts out by saying she should do it 15 minutes and it turns grocery store readers on i don't know it's they're giving readers but who knows if nobody comes on we're good now i mentioned this yesterday i don't know why but Sonia on in these little shorty shorts. If you hadn't seen this, look, if that's what she was wearing to go out for New Year's Eve, that's her business. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, oh. it was just an interesting outfit. So she did say she had to go get dressed. She said she was getting ready to go put her hair up in a ponytail. To me, it looked like her hair was done and why she would put her hair up in a ponytail when it looks like you just got it pressed. I have no idea, but, um, Sonia strikes me so. who is very insecure about her looks, even though she loves to tell people how good she looks, she's insecure about her looks. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I, I don't think that sis is as confident as she likes to play. So, <sighs> Hey, so which is why she's sitting there with her legs open and in her shorts for 2020 in the winter hopefully after today uh which i doubt it uh the situation is dead okay. and we can just focus on his case which is more important than who's screwing who or my title because that's kind of kind of old okay so people are texting typing and i can't Hello, happy new year. Let's keep it on you. All right, let me put it on 1.25. What phone call? Cassandra Green? And who's Cassandra Green? That's our phone call. I'm confused. Number one, I'm not surprised Nesto has like a ghetto ratchet spokesperson. I mean, she couldn't be any worse of a spokesperson. I mean, I guess she's just the only person who has stepped up to want to do it. I'm surprised one of his daughters isn't. And I know it's probably a full-time job or it's definitely a responsibility to be a spokesperson for someone who is now a little bit getting some notoriety and 
you know, honestly, Nesta was not really a celebrity, but in any case, I just don't understand why she feels like she needs to be spokesperson. I guess she probably feels more like she needs to come out here and defend herself, but nobody asked her to come out here and defend herself. If she would stop showing up, she might feel less like she has to defend herself all the time. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, the way I'm set up right now. Um, let me see. Hey, Rhonda. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I never wear it. But anyway. Um, so anyway, um, just real quick. I don't want to go into next year worried about this part of the situation. Just worrying about his case is all I'm concerned about. Um, the phone calls. Yeah, that you know released. we got to go to the comments. The, the bad part about the phone calls is from jail. She's not releasing them in ABC order or by date. She's releasing them all over the place. So she released in July, then October, September, then she's going back to this month. And so it's not flowing like the situation. So, so we talked about this yesterday. Phone calls from prison is doing their own thing and they have their own schedule of how they release the calls. And if she doesn't like how they release the calls, why doesn't she go get a copy of the disc, get multiple, like get as many calls as she can get and release them your damn self. You know what I mean? If you don't like it, do it yourself. That's, that's what I say. There's no way that releasing the calls as they happened on a daily basis would even be remotely interesting because I've listened to the calls. I haven't listened to every call. Cause I mean, I've got other stuff to do, but I've listened to in excess of like a hundred calls. And what I can say is this listening to them in chronological order gets extremely tedious and it's not as interesting as the way they're doing it. If, you have the time and want to listen to it in chronological order, then do that. But that's another channel. That's not phone calls from prison is doing phone calls from prison. That's my take on it. But she always wants to make it seem like something is sinister going on. Something is something like someone's got some sort of conspiracy plan when really it's just, it's, it's really not that deep. I don't think, I think they're just releasing the calls, how they do the calls, but that's, that's just my take on it. Let me see if it's. So people are saying, Oh, this phone call in July, July is when they both agreed to separate and divorce. And the phone call was two weeks after they had the conversation and she stopped taking his calls. And that's July. I didn't okay. Exactly. In Jiggly. November. And in November we are friends. July, no one heard from me. So July was July. Now we're in January. I've been missing an action. Now I'll be on Instagram. That about to be played from one of our favorite person. Oh, who? Um, Jerry. She's releasing one. Per as I know. Yeah. Are you worried about getting that money? He wants you to get what money? He wants me to get. I'm confused. What phone call are you talking about? What month? Let's go back to that with mom because over the sun over the spring i still had my business and i was still in miami so i don't know what phone call you're talking about long time i'll say hey black beauty johnson black beauty to you johnson girl you have been exposed hey nadia how have i been exposed oh to go find me that's for his um legal fees because a lot of people have been asking me to set up a GoFundMe because I wasn't going to do one, but I got a lot of requests. Wait till six and nine minutes. I'm well, the GoFundMe, a lot of requests. Well, people are coming through with $5. So you got played, sis. I mean, if people want to donate to Nesto's fund, I guess they eventually will, but um, you, it's at $50. I'll, I'll check it. But last night it was $50. Going to Whiskey Mistress um, with some friends. I just got to figure out what I'm wearing and I'm supposed to be putting my hair up in a ponytail. I got to wash it though to do it. Hey, Tabby XOXO. Yeah. Those phone calls that they released from July is from July. That was a whole five months ago. 
So the, okay, so today I know I don't want him. I said it in my first video that I fell hard for him, and that's when I stopped dating. I was dating all the while he was in jail. In June, I stopped dating. Right in, in, when I started dating, I kind of was a lot focused on his case and what he was going through. He just got hit with those charges. He was getting emotional. I kind of got too involved because he was, you know. And so, so do you want to? Okay, she's, um, I mean, no, she's no, still no, too involved July, now. So we're talking five months ago. Thank you, Tabby. Yeah, it's growing. Look, she says that she got too involved. That was six months ago. That was six months ago on top of a year ago. At the end of the day, Nesto has been in jail for a year and a half. And we know that she looked for him for five weeks. I will find the clip where she talks about how she was damn searching his ass out high and low. She was looking up under every rock. She was searching on uh uh, Shirley's Instagram girl. She was calling the damn police stations. Sis was looking for her man. Okay. Five weeks. She looked for him, finally found him. Ma'am's not going anywhere. And she got in a van and drove her ass from Florida to Atlanta. <laughs> so she can downplay it if she wants to girl. We got a year and a half worth of you being in contact with this ninja and you damn near begging him to be his boo thing, okay? While he's still married to Miss Shirley. So at the end of the day, girl, it sounds silly because it is, but you should feel silly because you are. That's what I'm saying. And somebody kept going off on my ponytails and was going in talking about go get my hair done. And I, so I watched it. I love it. In the you see that? Right. So that's what Girl. my friend. So the internet has been going in on her ponytail, which we all know people have been laughing at the ponytail. People, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care about her ponytail, quite frankly, but it's, you know, it, it is what it is. But so she is, she's no different from these mommies, guys. She's no different from the mommies. She is so concerned about this internet. It's going to be her own demise. It's, it's going to be her own demise. And she wants to blame everybody but herself. She told me tonight, she said, put it in a ponytail. Could I stand up? Tell me, for real. No, because I got on booty shorts. So no, I'm not standing up because I'm small. <laughs> but you got on booty hey, shorts to get on the internet. Got pictures of me standing up. You should have waited until. No, because I don't listen to the phone calls. So I don't know what they're talking about. I don't mind prison phone call, that site, because you really just lift people listen and think for themselves it's the ones where you got the bloggers trying to control the narrative and play something and say this is what it was when it wasn't um you keep saying you've been exposed where i know right um how are the bloggers trying to control the narrative i don't control the narrative we discuss it on my channel if i were trying to control the narrative i would try to shut down any opposing opinion of any other person who is sharing an opinion on the internet and girl, she sounds dumb Ain't nobody trying to control the narrative. We're discussing what the tea is like, girl, we're discussing the tea and nobody trying to control the narrative for what see. And then she's putting up comments. I'm going to need to find the comment, but according to, I had someone send me a receipt girl the person told me that she's over here in the comments talking about she's investigating people, all kinds of stuff. Ma'am is weird, okay? She's weird and very much bothered. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> oh, okay, Compton Ebony. Uh, and Boogie now. Every time you say something, they come out with a new call to debunk my claim. No, because those calls are old. I'm talking for the today. I didn't start talking until November. We're only in, in the December, January. So you want to talk about the whole situation? I mentioned that in my first video that in the middle earlier this year. I okay. Hey, guys. I see you guys are coming in. I wasn't over here on the comments. Hey, Miss Sageless, how she got a lot of requests and the funds ain't funding. Okay. How did you get a lot of requests? I haven't seen, maybe they're behind the scenes requests, girl. We don't know. Um, 
like releasing them in a different order will change the truth. How did you get a lot of requests for funds and they're not funding? Um, I can't stand her. She's irritating my soul. Um, it took forever for 50 girl It's taken over two weeks for $50. Okay. She could go stand on the corner with them booty shorts on and get $50 faster than that. Um, her niece has a video on TikTok showing how to apply the ponytail. Is, is she in it? Is she in the video or is it her niece doing the ponytail? Girl, that would be hilarious if it was like a tutorial. She's trying to hog the attention, okay? The order doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's just trying to find something to shift. Okay. Look at Miss HLS doing the numbers. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me get back to. I'm operating with one uh, girl. If you guys saw my setup right now, you'd be like, Fran. Okay. I feel what? for him in doing? the wrong sense. But then we kind of like shook it off and was like, you know what? Leave everything alone and just focus on the case. This makes me people are asking you to go fund me. How is it now? I'm funny. It was, I don't know. I haven't, girl, it's, it's, it needs so much money. I don't even really check it. Yes. Forget them folks. They've been in your situation. I know it's like, they. the, the thing of it is this. And this is what me and my friend were speaking on this morning. All of these people, because they always try to come for me because they say, you know, any little thing that can come for me, they want to come for me. I'm atheist. I'm a nice person. I get along with everybody. I try to be positive. You're atheist, but you wear a cross. You're atheist, but you say things like, thank God. Girl, make it make sense. I try to, say, try to say nice things about everybody. If I got to say something negative, I keep you out of my mind. That's why I don't go to those sites. Because if I go to those sites, a part of me is going to come out because I got it in me. And so we don't want to go there. So I stay off of those sites where those little witches like to talk mad ish about me and try to say I'm just <laughs> mad. All of these godly people. How does so she, she, how does she know person. so she much if she's not coming through? I said, well, apparently all these females um, that's coming for me are judging me for a situation that has nothing to do with nobody but me and him. And you can like it or you cannot like it. But girl, look at this comment right here from Sonia Strawberry. So if if he would have got bond, the plan was for him to stay with you. Now I know you don't trust his word enough to have him around your grandchild. Let's see. Ooh. I can't see the response. It must be a response there, but Maybe she didn't release it. Thank you for telling the truth. Let's see. Listen, Sonia, we heard the last calls from PCFP. So you are his side chick. You lied. Just stay lying. And then she says all day, every day. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, there's no winning for her in this. She really needs to stop, but she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. And she's, I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know, that's why I always say, keep your negativity to yourself. I don't promote it. I'm not for it. Right. If you hate the blogs, I don't gossip rumors and windows. I don't go to and blogs. windows. I, I don't go nowhere near it. Um, do you still go see him? I still go see him once a week. Yeah, oh, this. Want him now that oh, the so she's going to see him once a week. All right. This is the one I was looking for. Uh, she says, Sonia, you should read up on YouTube guidelines because you really could get these channels shut down. I don't think so. I don't agree with your actions, but YouTube does have anti-bullying. Bullying is like, bullying is a verb, right? Bullying is something you have to, I don't, I've never called her. I don't email her. I don't comment. I can do reaction videos. I have a right to do whatever type of content I want. I can react to a video within fair use at the end of the day, you can feel like you're being bullied, but we know what bullying is. Bullying is a is a very aggressive tactic and it requires some sort of engagement. I don't engage with this woman. I don't talk to her. I don't tap her on the shoulder. I'm not in her city. I'm not driving past her house. I am commenting on these videos and she has injected herself into a case that involves the husband of a high profile celebrity. She has started a YouTube channel 
and an Instagram and has made herself part of the story and therefore a public figure. Nobody is bothering her nor bullying her. So Noelle Lewis, who thinks she knows so much, needs to have a seat. Um, I don't agree with your actions, but YouTube does have. It's just funny to me how the people who are so sensitive and think that people are bullying are supporting and watching and contributing. If you're not watching T channels or um, YouTube reaction channels, uh, ma'am, what? Okay. So I don't agree with your actions, but YouTube does have anti-bullying guidelines. Grown lady, grown lady video and the, and bougie are bullying at this point, whatever. Um, she says they are being investigated. I agree how much Sonia spends on her clothes has nothing to do. Girl, ain't nobody talking about her clothes. Nobody is talking about her clothes. And YouTube, part of YouTube culture, part of being an influencer, not saying that she's an influencer at all, but I am. <laughs> and some people actually liked her shirt. Some people were happy that I posted it. Some people said they were going to get it. Some people had a laugh. Some people were interested in like, ooh, it costs $45 or whatever it costs. Like at the end of the day, it's sharing information. That's not bullying. All these little sensitive people who feel upset, like don't need to ever come to my channel. Like it's just so funny how people know so much about what I have going on on my channel, but yet you're going to come over here and try to encourage this woman to seek out like bullying that's ridiculous been revealing just being honest no our relationship was i wanted to stay how our relationship was when he was out because he's in and you really can't count these situations when a person's in jail because they're vulnerable they're feeling Girl, some type of way it's very outfit. emotional so it's not really a clear situation so i said let's keep it how it was before he went to jail which was just friends which hey, was Messiah, hope the new year. hey miss paula yeah did you feel All right, like let's go back to the... You from the pen, you're welcome to use that title. <laughs> pimping, no, I never thought he was pimping because I never did anything for him until... No, I don't, Christine. Um, listen to those YouTube streets. I, I don't even go on that shit no more at all. Um, so was... she's lying again because she told him when she first met him, and we all heard it, that she thought he was a pimp when she first met him. And he said, did that scare you? And she said, no, because I'm smart. And he said, okay, smart. Girl, I'm going to have to get all my little sound bites together, okay? Let's see. All right, here we're back on the... Um... Um, I don't think he's pimping me or pimping. I'll check back some. Yeah, new call starting now. Okay, bye. Because I'm going to be out of here in a minute anyway. How did Nestle feel? How did it feel, Nestle said, I love you back. Nestle told me he loved me before he went to jail. And, you know, it didn't feel like anything because when he told me, I wasn't, you know, trying to, you know, be there. I'm here till they start their premiere. Hey, girl, hey, girl. Hey, Dale Adams. Yeah, I mean, it's almost 7 o'clock, so maybe they're starting it at 7. It's no biggie. So why is she so plugged um, into like, what phone calls from prison is doing, but she's right. mad right. about the calls? You, yeah. You know what, though? They track everybody that they put on that page. And what's so crazy is if you try to say anything positive on their page, they call you stupid, dumb, uh, or they delete you. They want everything on their page to be negative and hateful. That's not true. What made you stop having those feelings? Um, it was just just the reality of it, because I didn't feel that way before he went to jail. So we just, I just said it's best to keep it like it was before he went to jail. Since you have a miniature relationship to a married man was inappropriate, it's always inappropriate to have a relationship with a married man on both ends. Thanks, Jeanette. Your hair is cute. Thank you. Buffaloosis. I can't, <laughs> can't really say that, what it is. Um, stand strong. You know your story. I know. And, it's, and the thing of it is, it's my business. And everybody want to insert themselves. Now, let's go to the situation where everybody want to call me a liar. Oh, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. If I'm lying about anything, it's because I can't speak on it or it's not your business. So that's just what that is. For somebody just ask If she's lying on something, she can't speak on it or it's none of her business, if it's none of our business. So does that make sense? 
if I'm lying on something, it's because I can't speak on it. It's none of our business. Something extra personal and you don't know me. And I didn't come online with my story. I was dragged out here. I stayed quiet. When they first spoke about it in March and they said, the girlfriend of Florida, I knew who they were talking about, even though it wasn't his girlfriend, but I knew they were talking about me. And I just said, let them think what they want to think. And in July, they said, Sonia, I said, still, they don't have my name. They don't have my picture. Let them talk. Let them do whatever. Only when they drug my name out here and my whole name and then my family is when it's like, okay, now I got to say something because this is a problem. It's not going away. And so is she, she trying to say speak, that she didn't have Miss Waller already up? Going. The phone calls are old. If she releases something from now, it's a whole different conversation from July. July is when he got the rape charges. And that's when he was feeling some, everything happened in July. He got the rape charges in July. His wife stopped speaking to him. She said she wanted a divorce. She said she didn't have nothing else to do with him. Um, this is what I had to relate to him from a family member. And um, it was just a lot of mess. July was very emotional, very emotional. So that was July. And that's why he gave the big speech prior to me saying that. Because I think he was just, so it was just not a conscious situation. So that's why we said, you know what? We need to stay friends. You got to think about it. All of the retired vet women that used pimp until the end after their money was gone. Oh, my money's intact. USD in one of the calls in March. Intimacy conversation. It was a conversation about November 2020. Write a book, it might be a bestseller. <laughs> right? Um, I doubt it. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt she it. She can't even formulate it. a sentence. <laughs> I know somebody must be like, can you okay. please get up off live stream? Cassandra, go back to your question because I get so many and I don't know what it was. I heard Shirley has a cease and desist. Is that true? I don't know. I don't say anything about her. I'll ask questions and I'll ask if I don't know. Yes, what's going on? What time are you trying to be here tonight? She is so ghetto. Ooh, okay, nine o'clock. All right, let me get dressed. I'll call you when I'm walking out the door. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Sonia, why the shifty eyes? That's a sign of a lie. Be confident in what you're saying. Shifty she eyes. She knows about PFC because mm. are well, they are notification I don't have gang over there. About anything, really. I can either just not answer it because you are all strangers. This is my personal business. So I don't have to lie. And I actually don't have to say anything, really. If all your money is in tech, where are you going to go find me? Go find me is for his legal fees. That's what it is. And um, why don't you just give your man the money he needs? He needs ninety thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. And um, again, we're just friends. And we're, what kind of outfit was this? Like, about. you want to talk about something five, four months ago? That's five, four months ago. I don't judge everybody. Like, okay, this isn't your outfit to go out, but this was your outfit to come on live. Like, come on. <laughs> Sif has no real clothes. Them damn bell bottoms, one sleeve girls. She sounds like she was about to go on tour with Prince. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Prince, but at the end of the day, girls, she sounds like she was in some sort of like 90s, 90s time warp. Blouses with one sleeve, damn blazers. Um, there's nothing wrong with the blazer, but girl, the stuff that she was describing, bell bottom pants in what what did Nesto say? Extra small <laughs> from the kids department looking like she's getting ready to be on some sort of like dance line or something. Girl, she looks like she she probably was getting stuff that was for like battle of the bands, okay? Like dance wear. She's silly, okay? She's silly. How they she thinks feel we're when silly they and feel slow right along with her. And what date and month he go back to court? He's got motions for a bond reduction, but what we want is a indict. We want an indictment or a dismiss. That's what we want. You want a force indictment? Wouldn't you, indictment. Wouldn't you want a dismissal first? Well, the phone calls is just. I don't know. But thank girl, you. Girl, she's on notification gang. So I'm about to get off. Okay. This was a real quick one. Okay, thank you. Hey, girl. If you need reading glasses, you need to stay out the club. Thank you, Jen. 
Um, no, because it's children that need reading glasses. So ain't got shit to do with age. My granddaughter, 17, she wear reading glasses. And I, I what about them babies? The is, as long as my body and mind work like you need to. And there's people in a club older than me, way older than me. It's, it's people in there looking like grandpa, gray hair, all that in the club. But well, I go to. What kind of club you going not to? I, not that I'm in there looking um, older than everybody in there. Yeah, Tabby, I got to. You got to be positive because the world is so effed up right now. Everybody's being so negative. Everybody being so hateful. And it's crazy because the only person that should be feeling any type of way is the people involved. That's it. And it's only three people involved. Wow, his woman friend. Who's the three though. people no, involved? Um, you know what? If I had it like that, I definitely would have to him like that. But I don't have it like that. You know Wait a I second, y'all. Who's the three people involved? She said there's only three people involved. If she's not involved, are you involved now? Because if you're involved, then that means Dre's involved, Dion's involved, Daryl's, all the people that you have named and called out, Sheridan, Panay, like you're just as much of a B, C, D story as everybody else. The main person is Ernest Williams and his wife. That's pretty much it. It's really not even two people. It's really one. There's one person with charges. But if you're saying there's three people involved, then ma'am, you must need to understand why you're getting reaction videos, why people are talking. If you are putting yourself in it, well, then I think you should understand why you're in it at this point, right? Does that make sense, y'all? Because I think she just said that she's involved in this matter. So if you're involved in this matter, then why are you confused as to why people are doing videos and why do you feel like you're being bullied? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what other people are doing and I can't account for what, what anything that's happening outside of what's happening with me. But at the end of the day, ma'am needs to really check her vocabulary because as far as like injecting her in it, she's injecting herself. He's silly. And so my money is my money. I'm not out there. Well, I was last year, but I kind of stopped. Well, last why year. should we spend our money business, and you're the one who was up in the bed business, with him? So. You're the one who says his sex is Thank so you good. Know. You're the one who is all up positive, into him. You know. why, do, why do we need oh to God, put so one our I'm money? Like, why does the public right need to contribute? That's your move. do a whole story on his son getting arrested. Like, it's just a bit much right about now. They going The family's going through a lot. These people have no type of consideration for shit. They just want to keep, you know, going and going and exposing, and exposing with no type of anything towards the family. Period. And they can be mad. The phone calls are meant only for the courtroom. She's mad at me because I pulled the story of her getting shot in Cleveland. She's mad because we talked about something she talked about. 50 times. You shouldn't have told everybody you got shot. Are you kidding me? You told everyone you got shot, but now you're mad. Girl, stop it. Okay, that doesn't even make any sense. People wanted to know. The community wanted to know. They Number one, they wanted to know if you were lying. And number two, they wanted to know more about it. So if you don't understand that, oh, well, I mean, at the end of the day, that's, it's just, it's, it's what it is. Okay. And us to hear it was, that's it. It wasn't for the whole world. And then the whole world to hear about them and then start trying to pick them apart and say, oh, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. Retired from working. That's what, that's what it is. When you get a certain age, you retire. So I was, I'm 55. So I'm retired. Happy New Year's, KC. Um, yeah, I'm atheist, but I'm a positive atheist person. Let's keep it positive. And I'm about to go because I got a shower and I got a. Okay, so this was her outfit to come on live. I have seen the movie. Close your legs to um, married <laughs> men. Um, 
Have you seen the movie Close Your Legs to Married Men? That is hilarious. Time, um, I didn't know he was married. You're going to keep riding it because um, he's been in jail. Um, <laughs> me knowing him at this point. So um, we haven't had any uh, <gasps> visits. So my legs have been closed. Happy New Year's. <sighs> okay, so I'm about to... Um, I'm about to go. The reactions are not um, in her favor. Be, I if the reactions were in her Elizabeth favor, girl, girl, she would be, girl, she would be Remember in the, the live stream. And where we are today. She'd be like, hey, y'all, what's going say, on? Oh, you're blessed at the center. That was July. Mm -hmm. I already said some shit happened in July. Here's a test for you. I want you to see what happens. <laughs> Come on with it. Lies. That's fine, honey. If you don't believe me, it's, it's okay. You don't know me. So it's cool. What about married men so themselves cool. to their wives? It was cool. Thank you, Virginia. Everybody want to come for the female. But at the time that all happened, only person knew he was married was him. I didn't know he was married at that time. So let's fault who's in the relationship and not the people that's outside the relationship because I didn't force, you know, I didn't know him, know him to be married and force him to do it. I mean, I, I personally, I don't care that she's a side chick. Lies. I'm just going to be honest. You I don't there. care. The only person that was there was me and him. If she wants so to be a side chick. Is, is me and him. Do your damn thing. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, be a side chick. That's okay. And go ahead. How can I? I'm not here to, to tell Instagram. her to not be a side Ms. chick. Miss Waller, nine fifteen. Sonya, come on. What you worried about, Cap Slayer? Um. No of you. No of you. I don't get that. Did you send him a nose clipper? No, I didn't send him a nose clip. He can't have a nose clipper in jail. Give it up. <laughs> not a good look. It's cool, boo. You can feel how you want to feel. I'm not here for your approval at all. Mm. Right? He knew he was married. Yeah, he knew he was married. He knew he was married. I didn't know at the time that that, that situation happened. Other ladies, mm. he allegedly frauded. He told them he was married, but he told me three weeks after we met. Like I said, he didn't tell me immediately. He told me three weeks after we met. It didn't come up because how we met was kind of on business. We, we didn't meet on the what's up, boo, give me your number. And when you meet on that, that's when you say, are you single? Are you married? Or what's, what's your situation? But we didn't meet on that. Therefore, I didn't need to ask him his personal business at that time. Oh, okay. Um, the other ladies. Okay, that's what I read. All right. Yeah. Every situation was different. So, I mean, every person is different. Every situation is different. So he met me. It was on some different shit. He met the other girl at Starbucks. It was on some different shit. He met the other girl through her dad. That was on some other stuff. Everybody met differently. And when you found out, that didn't stop anything. It stopped physical situations is what it did stop. You're on, you are on the call still wanting. Well, she's, this is what she's saying. She said that she, when she found out he was married, she, um, so you met on some, wait, can we backtrack on that? So you met on some business, but you ended up doing it the next day. Can we remember that? You met on some business. You made him take you out on a date. And you guys started doing the nasty the next day. Three weeks later, you find out he's married. You block him. And then two weeks later, you unblock him and tell him you just want to be friends. Or, look, did I just remember that correctly, y'all? Do y'all, does that sound about right? I mean, that's the, that's the most recent story. Okay. You say she's, she's spitting nonsense and lies. Okay. Girl. So she said they met on some business. They were talking to each other and said how, when they went on there, they met up and then they did it the next day. Okay. But she's also saying three weeks later, she found out he was married and then, you know, blocked him. But then two weeks later, she unblocked him and told him she just wanted to be friends. Okay. We'll go with that. Married we'll go man. with that. Talk this about story. the July conversation that happened five months ago. Honestly, many women have been one, if not both positions. It's very common. This is what's so crazy. Everybody's acting like, Somebody cheating in marriage is something that never happens. It's more common than a person being faithful. So, so it's more common to, to be in a cheating like, relationship. This is not wow. no juice. This is not no like, ooh, somebody married having an affair. 
He had multiple affairs, but they keep writing on this situation, which was the least out of everything. You're the only one on the reason, internet wanting situation. some shine. I don't want my face cracked. Uh -huh, that was July. We talk about July. Talk about something that happened in October, November, December. We're in January now. So you're talking about five months ago. Because that call was in July. Tasha K said, yeah. Hell yeah, I lied on Tasha K. I said, go by the phone. Whatever I said on the phone, Stan, is what it is. I, me and him weren't having a lying conversation. Don't listen to what the narrators want to try to narrate it to be or try to twist it to be. Because I've heard oh, them in the beginning. She's using narrator, guys. Out, okay. Saying, certain things. They'll hear, they'll play the call and then they'll say this and I'll be like, that's not what was about. You met him. I met on business. I actually did. You keep telling him you love him, but he doesn't say it back. Okay, Tammy. My calendar says we're still in December. Nadia, girl, you need some happiness in your life. <laughs> I listen to your mouth. Okay, you listen to my mouth. Oh, all God. Over the what are we talking about? When y'all ask me a question, you ask me a question in the now. I answer in the now, and it's a lie. Do you want to go back and say, ma'am, okay, so why April, would you do this on New Year's Eve? Well, what That's what I want to know. What this, was the situation in January? What this was the situation can't, in, every month, everything. This is can't stop trying to get some shine. That's her problem. Like, if you would just slow your damn row and mind your damn business and let his wife handle the business, you see how his wife is handling it. She's handling it by keeping her mouth shut. But you want to be up in this man's business and girl, it's not going well for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lighter, take the I no can't problem. help it. <laughs> Last month on Tasha K. That's fine. His son, you were very brave answering these questions <laughs> about your life, right? Well, Nesta Beavers representing himself. No, he's gonna assist because his attorneys, both of them suck. So he's gonna assist. He's doing all his legal research and everything he needs to do to make sure everything. Oh, he's in. doing all of his legal research. I love it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Look at the dates, though. You you want to you want to hear a call from July and put it in the mouth? Yeah, but you said okay. I said that in July. That was a whole five. Okay, months ago. I'm gonna agree with her for a second because sometimes I do think that the audience does not like factor in what the time and place is. That's why it is so important to have the dates. But overall, at the look, overall, it is what it is. It almost it certain things it doesn't matter what the date is certain things it doesn't matter what the time is certain things are just what they are if you lie you lie if it's suspect it's suspect that's it and that's all so i understand that she wants that she thinks it's more accurate to have it chronological but once again she doesn't have any control over that that's not that's not in her control so many things transpired since July. At a gas station in booty shorts. Dad! Who was in booty shorts at a gas station? You. I was in a gas station and my shorts was long. They weren't booty. She just got finished mm, seriously, talking girl, to him about the damn shorts. She said, Yeah, hopefully that's his shit because we don't want to go into this in 2024. Well, I'm not going into this in 2024. I'm only going to focus on the case. And that's all I care about is the case. He's Girl, in jail. She is Can't only focusing on the case. Can't nobody touched her or did anything since November. What was the situation in November? Listen to the phone. That's all I'm saying. If y'all want to listen to what happened, it's on a phone call from September 2022. That's when that phone call happened a year ago. So September, tonight is June 20. Yeah. Okay. So in June, I was still dating other people. I stopped dating people in July. She's trying to work that little bang. You guys see how hard she's trying to work that, make that little bang swing? Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. My phone was in my pocket. Hey, y'all. Hey, Tennessee. Uh oh, Girl, the business was in between them legs. Okay. And come back. <laughs> oh, you silly. No, nah, because you know what? They be talking. No, nah, I'm not giving them bloggers nothing. Nothing extra they need to be talking about. I'm not searching for a pimp and I'm them looking them for a street and and <laughs> No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be you nowhere. I don't want to. Right. 
I always tell I want you, no wanna, scrub. Scrub is truth. a guy who can't Listen take no, book. who can't get and no love from me. Okay, all right, T.S. I hear you. Um, let's say only one. Shout out to Candy Burris. Okay, that month of July was kind of tricky, but you know we we back out of that. Funny. So that was just that was just July. Um, August is going to pretty much sound like it sounds now. September is going to sound like it sounds now, and like it sounded before. September last year when I first started talking to him. Is a little spicy. And then it just went to regular conversations. And then July, when everything kind of got, you know, a hot mess, it kind of changed. And then August, we kind of just went back to the norm. One of the calls said you met at a gas station, booty shorts on, and he was paying you what? I can't see it. I think he disrespects you when he laughs. You pour your heart out. I just follow him too. Okay, when did um he let? When did I pour my heart out? I know I talked to him about some things, but I try not to get too. When you told him you wanted him to be your man, yeah, everything for court. Damn, I'm gonna look at it. Okay, move. Who was it, Paula? If that account seems like a dummy account, I don't accept it. I don't mind anybody else, but I know when those dummy accounts come on, I know it's people that's just on there just to try to ride me and give me like a hard time or get slick at the mouth or totally disrespectful. What about November 2023? No, we was just cool. We was just cool November 23. See you doing it again. What am I doing? I'm not attacking. No. It's cool. I'm stating my opinion. You can state your opinion. I'm, I'm not sensitive and, I, and to anything. No one's saying, you know, the silly song is simple, nasty. Like that part right there, I don't like. I don't like name calling. I don't like people trying to dig in. And what everybody needs to do is just focus on the case and stop worrying about what these bloggers try to Wait, turn into a juicy ass story. It's, it's not juicy at all. It's really boring. Oh, someone got mind. timed out. Okay, boring. I'll fix it. It's nothing on, out of the I'm it's not, not like on that screen. Hold on. Of, wow, it's uh, like, but can wow, you it's untime just, out the S? Okay, Things hold on. Let me see. Found out he was married. Do you Stayed think right. you're wearing shorts? Like a real okay. Situation. Give me like, just a second. I have no in that. I'm not on that screen. I'm in StreamYard only because I'm just, y'all. If you see my setup right now, y'all, I am chillaxing. But, but um, let me no, gonna, I'm let me pull open different. another window. Um, hold on. I'm sticking my pen. Are there any recent phone calls? Normally, I have like my monitors, so, and I'm on my much bigger teacher, laptop. But I'm on my uh, my MacBook on, right now. I don't know what you're on talking one about. screen. Um, cupcaking on the phone, and y'all gotta use um kind of like terminology for old people because some things y'all be saying I don't be like uh, you're acting obtuse. That's what you're doing. I can act okay. So first of all, we're talking about my personal business to people who don't know me. And y'all mm. want me to be transparent. Y'all want me to be open and just tell y'all everything. It's like, why are you I on live? Why are you on live? My personal business. You don't know me. You don't know him. And half the people didn't know her until this came out. So what are we even talking about? Y'all oh. want somebody to be Okay, let me ask a question. On the internet. TS and in Tennessee, are you guys... Oh, you guys are probably on Love, Lies, and Lace Front. Okay, hold on. Go and spill my story and put my business out there for people to try to come to me and, and get some type of conversation. I didn't do that. I don't believe in that. I think it's stupid when people do that. But because they painted the narrative so fucked up for the last nine months and since March all the way to November, they just made it sound so freaking crazy. And then when they threw my and I still was like, all right, I'm saying that I'm say when they put my face out there and then they want to go and, and put my brother out there, my sister, my mother, that's fucking ridiculous. That's a little too much. You're doing too much. It's not that serious. Nobody on this in this situation is famous whatsoever. I'm a nobody. He's a nobody. And his wife is just his wife. That's it. It's not some, you know, Eddie Murphy or Kevin Hart situation. It's a very vanilla situation. Beginning of March, the July, the calls were, he did say he loved you. He told me that, yeah, but I mean, who cares? You know what I'm saying? We were friends. You were on the phone listening to his wife's conversation. Me and his wife never been on the phone together. What are you talking about? Half of these people in this chat are coming for you. You're right, but they probably been cheating on their husband and wives too. 
it's a common situation. I don't know why everybody acting like it's something like so. I, you know, I'm going to just call no. BS on that. We everybody met. doesn't look. I don't know. Women are less likely to cheat than men. And all men don't cheat. That's all I'm going to say. Women do not cheat. I know times are changing. And the younger generation, like, it's a little bit different. But women are less likely to cheat on their husband. Single people... I'm not going to say do what you want, but single people, you're not married. If you need to supplement a relationship outside of a relationship, that's probably not a relationship you need to be in. At the end of the day, everybody is not cut from the I need multiple dicks and multiple pussies type cloth. Everybody does not cheat. That's my point. Okay. Women are less likely to cheat than men in a marriage and all men don't cheat. If she's the type of woman that always seems to have a cheating ass man, that's her problem. That's her problem. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are just in the shits. Some people find people who are always in some trouble. Some people find people who are always cheating. Some people always find a great man. Some people like it's just, I don't want to say it's luck, but it's you at the end of the day. So that just tells me what type of person Sonia is because Sonia is used to cheating ass men and she might be a cheating ass female, which is why her marriage only lasted four months. I don't know. Not my business. Don't care. But women do not cheat like men cheat and all men don't cheat. Take that for how you want. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I think. Okay. Y'all chime in. Things let me know what you think. In a normal situation. It's not let like me see. Outside, I'm trying to get into school, my other. I, I got to get into my setup, like my monitor setup. So it's hold on. It's serious at all. It's some vanilla shit. Exactly. I don't know what people don't understand. Is TS point. back? Right. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Type in the chat body. if you're they back. You're I think you got time down. I'm lying on my body to somebody that don't know me. That's my business. How about y'all come on here and, and tell me about who y'all fucking and, and everything about y'all sales and, and what y'all doing and all y'all lives. That's not the content right. of the stupid. channel. It's like somebody just walking up to me and saying, hey, who you screwing? And then when you screw them, where you screw them at? And what was the situation like? And I'm going to sit here and be transparent with this, with this stranger. We all heard the phone calls. Girl, I ain't got to lie. It's not your business for me to say anything. I can say what I want to say. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about that song. It was lurking on Shirley's side. She back on this to report, to report LOL. Yeah, I wasn't lurking. Um, consider the case burning, but absolutely, I'm gonna make sure he pays. Oh goodness! You never heard him call his wife. You never heard him call his wife while she was on the phone. Are you talking about in person? Because he's never used the phone around me in person, other than one time to an RV dealership. Stop tripping. Lockers. Wait, no, what happened? She, she, she said he never used the phone <laughs> okay, so around her, but only at an RV dealership. But go look at the first picture of Erica. And then go back last year. Hold on. She said he never used a phone around her, but at a RV dealership. When were y'all at an RV dealership together? What were y'all doing? Were y'all over there spending up uh, Miss Ma'am's money? Uh, Miss Bickham, what RV dealership were y'all at? Okay. Sonia, are you the one who created this page and ran on Tasha K? Okay, Cap Slayer. All right. You never heard him call his wife. You never heard him call his wife while she was on the phone. Are you talking about in person? Because he's never used the phone around me in person, other than one time to an RV dealership. Other than one time Stop to an RV dealership. The information up. She was. Little... <laughs> this is okay. So I'm not trying to you guys be all about it. myself, but go look at the arrest picture of Erica, and then go back last year to all the blogs when they thought Erica was the girlfriend who was the co-defendant who lived right next door. Nobody thought wife. nobody thought Erica was the girlfriend. The news media said that that was his mistress of 20 years. Nobody thought that. 
that's what Roswell put out. That's what the news reported. And that was, as far as I'm concerned, as far as my reporting, that's what I repeated. Roswell put out the press release. The news media stated it. I think it's even in the press release that I have. I need to reread it to you guys before we get up out of here. I'm trying to get into my monitor. I think I'm here now so I can pull someone out of timeout real quick. Um, TS, are you back? Because if you are, then we're good. But if not, then I got to find you. Um, but it's making my computer run slow. So, um, but yeah, nobody, nobody is, no one's doing all that. Nobody was thinking anything. Okay. I see it now. All right. Did not know. Cause he says it on the phone call who was Erica and he's trying to explain it. He's like, well, I don't know her. And Erica's supposed to have been in his life for 10 years, 10 years. Right. She doesn't know who Erica is. They said 20 and years. And they said nothing. They said about this much about Erica, if anything. They didn't drag her. They, they drug her. They didn't drag Erica. Why? Look at the mugshot. I think that's why. Erica, if they show Erica okay. in a very beautiful light where she was all Miss Fine Fine, they probably would have went for her. They probably would have went for her. Look, nobody's, look, I don't know. It's not a fact of going for anybody. Nobody's going for anyone. No one's attacking anyone. I'm not attacking anyone. I've done stories on Erica King. The information available on Erica King is limited. And for me, and I think I've been very consistent with my audience, Nesto is really the story for me. I started this on some Shirley's husband is in jail. Sonia is not going to shift my focus on what I'm looking at and what I'm reporting on. Erica King is definitely part of the story, but this started on some, y'all, Shirley Strawberry's husband got arrested. This is juicy. Why do I need to focus on someone I don't even know and there's very limited information out there about to even discuss? The information on Erica King is limited. Ma'am has spent time scrubbing her social media and. I don't want to say it's impossible to find her, but there's limited information. And for me, that hasn't been the focus of my story. Although I, there's probably, I don't know, there could be 10 or more videos referencing Erica King, her charges, her information. I've just recently pulled all of the warrants and arrest affidavits regarding her. So we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it, but nobody is going after her. It's a part of the story. And that's pretty much it. Um, which I was like, I don't, I don't know her. So, you know, what does they look like? What she looks exactly a middle aged woman. She looked like, thanks kitten and Cassie. Let's see what you look like at 55. Cause I'm happy uh, about how I look. And if Sonia would stop talking I'm about her look so much. At all. People would stop talking right. about her looks. That's a, that's a claim to be claim to fame. Not, I don't want no claim to fame. I could have been, you know, any given time if I wanted to. This is not something to be. Well, she could have been famous at any given right. time. Right, Erica was in jail wanted. at the time. Erica didn't get out of jail until end of March. How do you know so this much about Erica? They made it a mess. It shouldn't be a mess. It shouldn't be anything. Honestly, I, I got, got it, Jay Breezy, but I'm just saying thing. there's not Y'all anything that I can home, do to reverse a exactly. timeout. Um, it just has to I expire. Sonia, do you have do you regret anything? Yeah, I've read a lot of things. But at the same time, this is what I this is how I can't be cold about it. After we met two months later, I was hospitalized. I almost died twice. You're not gonna understand this unless you've been through it. If you've been through a serious health problem, and this man, this uh, this man, this woman is ridiculous. Me, but a few many people, <laughs> but for a person I just met who I'd only seen twice before this happened, was there every day. Like every day on the phone, what are the doctors saying? How are you feeling? Do you need anything? He was just there. And even after I got out every day, just checking on my health, checking on my health. Like he surpassed everybody that was in my life. My sister was there every day. But once I got out, I heard from her here and there. But out of everybody that I deal with, he called the most. He had more concern than anybody. So that's and what, why. What is that I point? What is, and what is that? Back what is that I'm supposed not to tell us? Be out here fucked up. 
care about you when this is over. You were listening to the call between and another party. You muted yourself and said nothing. I forget that. Me and her never been on the phone together. But you are going to help with the bail. We're trying to just get the legal fees. That's way more important than, than paying a bond. Because when you pay for a bond, you don't get that back. So his bond right now is, is around $800,000. $800, and if he paid... If he paid um, a percentage of that, you don't get that money back. So that's money in the wind. He needs to apply all funds to an attorney because he needs to get a better attorney. Doesn't mean he hasn't done bad things to others. I, I never said that. Ooh. And Cap Slayer, did you listen to the other videos that I did, the live videos? Because I said, even if you believe what the warrant says, it's civil. It's a civil situation. It was relationships. Money was, if because I only know one side. I only know the warrant side. I don't know his side. The warrant says they were long stem relationships. Money was given and not directed where it should have been. That's civil. It's not criminal. If you walk up to a stranger and sell them a dream, somebody you don't know, and you get them that way, and you do it the same skit to, this, to a bunch of people, then you can sit there and say, okay, that's criminal. And in some cases, that's even civil. It just very, just depends. All his situations are very different. But they're all relationships with people. They're not strangers. These are 10, 11 month relationships, ongoing situations. 10, so, 10 11. Okay. Four attorneys agreed with me and a detective from another city said this was civil. This was not criminal. Civil can still be wrong. You know, you can civilly wrong somebody, but criminal, it has to be a, a criminal intent. You silly, hey, yeah. But they give they giving me the um the um. <laughs> we need attorney fees. How much you got? Uh, girl, not enough. This man is career criminal since the eighties. But go ahead and ride from. I mean, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. Um, he, again, let's go by the convictions. He got two convictions from nineteen ninety crimes, and no convictions since. So, um, I don't know. I don't know him to be a criminal. I mean, but that doesn't mean no criminal. arrest. I don't know him to be a criminal. That's all I can say. He says he's innocent of all of these charges. That's all I can say. I don't know the details. All I know is what the warrant says. And the warrant can... Listen, reading the warrant, it looks more civil than it looks more criminal. What is your purpose of being on YouTube? Um, to address when y'all talk mad shit about me. Hey, C. Blue. Wow, this is sad. Ernest underestimated popularity amongst the people. And that's why so interesting and popular. Okay, um, it's still not a big thing. It's, it's still not no to me. I like. I mean, everybody different. I mean, I got a life, so I mean, I leave the house and I do things. I, I don't have time to sit and. She said, "I got a life. I leave the house." <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, but I'm from a different generation, so. We mind our business. We not we not on that, that YouTube. No, put their you don't mind your business. Around. If you minded your business, you wouldn't be on live stream sitting here capping for another woman's husband in pum pum shorts. You just wouldn't be doing it. If you minded your business, you wouldn't be on a year and a half worth of phone calls over to the to the county. If you minded your business. You wouldn't be visiting this man in jail every single weekend, okay? T.S., is your timeout over yet? Try to type into the chat so I can see you. Um, Yeah, if you minded your business, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, you see, this is the difference between Erica King. See how Erica King is minding her business? Where's Erica King? Minding her business, right? The co-defendant. Erica King is probably like, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. That's called minding your, you see, you see what Shirley's doing? Shirley is minding her business. Dre, even Lamont, even messy ass Lamont. What are they doing? Minding their business. Okay. That's what they're doing. Girl. And people just be in it. Like they like 
like it's their business. That's crazy. People so can do I, what I, they I was, want. Like, you know, I came up in the 90s and early 2000s. That's when my prime of my adulthood was. You came up in, so in the 90s and the 2000s? Link but you were born, what, 67? You know, think what you want to think about me. It's fine. Ride with it. Whatever <laughs> you want to believe about me, go for it. Because I don't know you. So it doesn't matter what you think. How much you got to go for me? I don't know. I got to look at it. You had a nerve to say, surely should get the money from somebody in her circle. Just who do you think her circle would give her? What did I say she should get money from somebody in her circle? The only thing I ever said is, and I don't know what call you were listening to, but the only thing I ever said about money and her was he needs to fire the attorney that he has now, the one she paid for, and he needs to sue him and give her back all, if not half the money, whatever he can get from that attorney and give it back to her. That's the only thing I mentioned about money and her. As far as her finding money and giving it to his, I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't have nothing to say on that. I can't count nobody's pockets, period. So I can't speak on what she should do and all of that stuff as far as giving him money. Mm. So I don't know where you got that from because I never said it. Right, for your friends, I don't blame you. Right. I couldn't imagine being alone and scared you. Right, it's a fucked up feeling. I've been there, so I know. That's a lie. Well, you know what, Cap Slayer? find the call and let me know what it was. I can go listen to it. But I can honestly say I, and now unless you're trying to say a narrator said that shit. A narrator. Because I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, tell me what call. Hey, hey, Poochie's Closet. <laughs> how much you got for an attorney? Rainy C, are you giving up money? Because you're real nosy about how much I got for an attorney. Because I know you want to say something. Why was I locked up? Um, It was insurance. It was insurance mm. for all the progressive. I did eight months. That was in the 90s. The 90s. No, you said somebody in her circle should have the money for Nesto. Somebody in her circle? That don't even sound right. Because I don't even I don't know nothing about her circle. And why would I say somebody in her circle need to have money for Nesto? Only only circle need to have money for Nesto would be his kids. And whoever he say. His kids don't need to have money for their dad who's out there and doing the most. I don't know them. Yeah, insurance fraud. Right. Hey, everyone. Man, listen, it was an ex-boyfriend who took my vehicle. He had the vehicle. I didn't make anything out of it or anything like that. It just paid the vehicle off. They found the vehicle a year later. But how they found the vehicle, they said it wasn't stolen because it wasn't broken. The key admission, you know, it just looked like it was a situation. So I went to court for that. And my lawyer said. They probably had you on video driving yeah. it. I mean, oh, how are they going to put you in jail if for insurance fraud? Only if they can tie you back to the vehicle. So you right. see how she, she you see Jennifer how she Newton. sits up here and talks too much about something, right? So now it's going to make somebody want to go find the case, read the depositions, read the information, see what can be found as to what the deal was with this particular insurance fraud. So you filed a claim for a stolen vehicle. The vehicle was found a year later. Okay. That happens to a lot of people. Okay, so the car wasn't as tampered with, but do they have you on video? Do they have eyewitnesses seeing you drive the vehicle? For them to put you away for eight months, they have had to have tied you back to the vehicle, and then they found out about it. Because if they totaled out your car, they, play, they replaced the vehicle or gave you money for the vehicle, somebody ratted you out for fraud. Somebody gave them information for them to know that this was a false claim or the police found it and they found you driving it something. There's no way that if someone takes my car and a year later it's found that they're coming for me unless I had something to do with it being missing or I was using the vehicle during that time period. Oh, sh okay. Wow. I see your uh, note, JS. Wow. Y'all got, look, accidents happen and I'm so sorry. Like, I mean, there's, I'm in the middle of a live right now. There's really nothing I can do until I get out of this. So um, anybody with a wrench, just be aware of the ramifications. So if y'all just, you know, just be aware stuff happens and, um, we're in the middle of a live. As soon as I get out of it, I'll see what I can do. But I went 
to the monitor. I see, but I can't reverse it because that person isn't blocked. They are on timeout and I don't know what the function is to be able to take someone off timeout. So, um, okay, we'll fix it though. All right, let's finish this up. Better Betty, because it wasn't a bad check. I never wrote a bad check. You can go to jail for that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Every, every state is different. If you if you if you get locked up in a in a situation in a county that doesn't have a lot of crime, they'll lock you up for anything. And if you catch a case in a city that has like Wayne County and Detroit, where they have a shitload of crime, probation, probation, they, they usually write it off. If you go to Oakland County, which is a suburb of Detroit, that same crime will have you locked up. Can you go to jail for that? You can go to jail for any freaking thing, depending on the judge. Um, and I guess it was that mouth because it's about what you can get locked up for and what you can't get locked up for. Like, you know, and how some states do business I don't, I and some others. Know. It's like, car. damn. No wonder you were sitting around getting twelve dollar jobs at fifty five. You worried about the wrong thing, sis. You said she should find the money because allegedly he traded the RV and the. She should find the money because he traded the RV and for the G wagon. What call is that? I have to listen to that and then I have to explain because that don't even sound right. Um, that she should find money if I said that. Bye, brain. Listen, at 55. Look, if he, which we know that he did that, traded the RV for the G-Wagon, but the bottom line is, is that was a crime. He used, he washed that lady's money and used that lady's money to buy a G-Wagon and that money was never supposed to be for him to keep. That RV was never supposed to be for him to keep. He was supposed to buy that for that woman's business. And if Sonia thinks that because he bought her a G wagon with someone else's money, who he was supposed to be buying a RV for her business with, like these people are weird. These people are weird and it's unfortunate. This is not a good look. Ernest is pimping from the clinks and it's not going to end well. If you take off the cape soon. And refresh your life. Thank you, Cap Slayer. Um, hey, Sonia, did you say on a call this week, I believe she should be taking care of the legal fees? And that's still on the line, girl. It's in the calls. What call? Give me the call. Because um, I know I didn't, I didn't say anything about money, but I said that to him when I first started talking to him, that everybody needs to be very, you know, supporting him. And I didn't mean financially. I meant, you know, supporting him, like how I'm supporting him. You can't win with a delusional old person like her. Thank you, Lou. And as far as Nyla, whatever, it's also a grandma. She looks younger. Okay. You're a fan, girl. Stay on her page and keep the hate. Sonya needs to really bought, cut this out. Know, the police. I don't know just how that went. Um, you know, I got nothing to do with the affairs. If that's what it was. All right. So I guess if that's all, and I hope y'all have enough... Um, so, you know, it baffles me. But anyway, so I'm about to go because I got an hour to get dressed and do something with my I hair. mean, I'm sorry. There's I'm other things that I would want to spend my New Year's Eve and doing, happy, and that would not be hot seat questions in poom poom um, shorts happy, um, with the audience um, that you pretty much happy, know uh, don't really uh, mess with you like that. Because we're done. And I can see to save my life. Thank you, love. And I'm um, just, I'm not going to really be on like this. Um, please don't wear that. Uh, uh, uh. My friend told me to wear the hard ponytail. I might put it up in a soft ponytail. We'll see. Thank you, kittens and caskets. Sonia, please consult a media specialist. I think you're going about this wrong, but you can win. Thank you, DJ. Mm -mm -mm. And let me go. Hey, Tammy. All right, I'm gone. But, um. I'll be on my Instagram on that page. So, you know what I'm saying? Catch me in the wind. Show us the red blouse. What red blouse? <laughs> the red blouse with one shoulder. Phone calls. And when y'all talk about stuff, y'all need to give me a date so I know what month and what was being said. Because I don't know. Thanks, Rudy. I'm out. I'm about to go. Because I don't know what I'm wearing.
I think I'm going casual. You don't know what you're wearing for New Year's Eve, and it's almost midnight, and you've been on live for an hour. All right. I think, honestly, Um, she's going to bed. Phone calls out here. So hopefully um, tomorrow is 2024, and we're trying to kill this shit and let it be done and die um, with everything else in the past, and hopefully something else will happen that's a little bit more interesting than this, because I don't see this being interesting. She says she's wearing a hard ponytail. You be safe. Everybody be safe. Thank you. Appreciate it. Keep it positive. Keep it light. Keep it friendly. I'm gone. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Ooh. Okay, guys. Um, wow. Okay, let me stop sharing. Okay, guys. Um, I see. Girl, Tia said buy a ponytail. Girl, buy a ponytail. You know how Nene Leak said buy a wig. Okay. Anyway. Okay, y'all. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you guys for being there. Thank you. Anyway, guys, you guys take care and have a wonderful day. I'll be over on Love, Lies, and Lace Fronts um, in a little bit. Just give me a minute. Um, and I'll see you guys over there shortly. Okay? And my man, thank you to my man.